Well, hey everybody, get ready to walk with me for the next 90 days in something called Getting Unstuck. This is based on a book by Kim Jones, Pastor Kim Jones. And um, I would highly recommend you get, it's a devotional, a 90 day devotional that I'm gonna do here and um, wherever you're watching this, okay? Short videos, but we're gonna cover some heavy topics here and getting unstuck in whatever you're stuck in right now, okay? Um, it could be a bad relationship, it could be grief, loss, um, let go from a job, another type of loss, divorce, um, whatever, whatever that is, whatever journey you're on, we have times when we are sincerely stuck. So I'm gonna show you this book. I will post a link. If you're watching on YouTube, it'll be in the description box. Um, I'll try to post, if you're watching on Instagram, I'll try to post a link um, right there uh, in the video. So stay tuned because we're gonna go through 90 days of this. So three months, today is August 13th. So it'd be August to September, September to October, October to November 13th, around there. I will try to come on every single day and do a video. So let's get started. That's the short intro. But I'm going to show you this book. And I will post a link. It's going to show backwards, but it's uh, Real Talk Kim Unstuck, okay? And it's 90 Days of Inspiration, Encouragement, and the Promise of New Life. And I'll be sharing personal things and um, would love to hear your feedback as well, okay? So here's the verse for today. This is day one, anticipating your next. Then Joshua told the people, purify yourselves, for tomorrow the Lord will do great wonders among you. Joshua 3, 5. So you can look that up. I recommend you get a um, an NIV Bible if you don't have a Bible handy, or you get um, a message Bible. But I love the NIV. So and there are other translations you can get. So for 40 years, the Israelites with Moses, you know, had wandered, but there was disobedience. And the Lord did not allow them to go to a destination, the promised land. And so when there's disobedience, the Lord will pick another leader to lead. You know, he has you in a certain position right now. And I want you to go to a Bible and read Jeremiah 29 11 because you have certain unique gifts and you have a definite purpose. So you may never have heard that before. I had a friend that I said that to, gosh, probably a couple decades ago, we were having lunch and she's like, I never thought that I had gifts, that I had a purpose. And um, so when you don't realize those things, how can you walk in that purpose or your gifts or find out what they are? But God has given them to you and it's up to us to discover what they are. So a whole generation walking 40, you know, for 40 years in the desert, never got to see the promised land because of disobedience. And they wandered. And God appointed a new leader called Joshua. But Joshua knew he, he had to lead his people and they had to not question the leadership and just follow. And some of us can be so stubborn. It's like, I want what I had. I want to go back. I want to keep looking back at what I had. Um, I lost my husband and my oldest daughter within six weeks of each other uh, in um, October and November of 2022. There's no going back. It's only being stuck or going forward. I can't reclaim that. I know where they are and they're in heaven, but I, I can't go there yet either. And so I have to use my gifts and fulfill my purpose without them here. And my youngest daughter passed in 1998 at age 21. And so there's a lot of loss, well, in a lot of families, a lot of things that change. And then the propensity is we get stuck. 
and there are ways to get unstuck and understanding that you still have relevance, you still have a purpose, and God's calling you to something. And you're on my channel right here because you're being called perhaps to the legal field or maybe to something else. But getting stuck has to be for a short season and you can get unstuck. So are you being, here's some questions for you. I want you to write these down in a cheap Dollar Tree notebook. Are you being called to be a leader in your field? Do you feel that in your bones? Maybe you're not. Maybe you're called to be right now an employee and that's good because you never know where it's gonna lead. I certainly didn't. Are you being obedient to God's call on your life? Are you trusting that he, if this is what he wants you to do, that he is going to fulfill it. Think of that verse I read early on about the wonders God has ahead of you. What is your calling? Go to Jeremiah 29 11 and look up that verse. So focusing, are you focusing on what was or what is ahead? In the throes of loss or grief, it's really difficult in the beginning to focus on what's ahead. But we have to cling to that promise that there is something and God will reveal it to us. So you breathe and stay in God's word. Get it, get this book, get this devotional and go through it with me for 90 days. Your life will never be the same, I promise you. And the last thing is anticipate the next. This is how we don't know what's next, but God will show us. He will show us what is next. Trust in that. Take, pretend it's a football. And instead of holding on to that football and trusting in your own uh, wisdom or your own uh, knowledge, give that burden, which I will say is the football, and give it to God and trust him with whatever's going to happen in your life. Anticipate the next and you are going to experience some incredible things in the next 90 days. Some incredible changes in your mindset and what you believe. So stick with me on this journey. We are going to have a blast. Take care. Talk to you in the next video.